quick. So, uh, obviously, I've been on this journey, and oddly enough, I remember, um, I remember, I actually went back and watched the first video I ever ever uploaded, and it was me saying, "Oh, hey, I'm uh, Dave Smith." Joins in, he says, "Eh." Um, I actually said, oh, I'm going to try and vlog my cryptocurrency journey and share with you. So it, I've stayed consistent that way. Um, and I actually started off on that video by saying, um, hang on, Alexa, stop. You can just hear music going on in the background. Um, yeah, obviously, I started off by saying that I think cryptocurrency is uh, the way of the future and... I want to try and accumulate as much as I can. Now, at that point in time, I actually, um, I thought, oh, I wonder how much uh, Bitcoin was when I did my very first YouTube video. And I actually went back and I, obviously I commented on the price uh, in that video. And it was actually uh, in British pounds, 4,900, which as of right now, I think Bitcoin's had a bit of a pump today, uh, is at about 4,900. So actually, if I'd bought Bitcoin... When I started this YouTube channel, uh, rather than obviously trying to do mining, cloud mining, uh, ASICs, um, oh, I'm receiving phone calls, I would uh, be, oh sorry guys, I'm cutting out, I'd be in exactly the same situation, I wouldn't have made any um, profit, I wouldn't have lost anything, um, obviously that would have been a hell of a ride I suppose, uh, so yeah, that, in that regard, Obviously, I, I know exactly what I've invested all together in cryptocurrency. Richard says, hi, thanks for joining, mate. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Um, I've spent all in total in, on cryptocurrency £2,700. I just recently sold one of my Z9s. So that's uh, news for you guys. I don't think I've told anyone that yet. I sold one of them. Um, for seven hundred and twenty-five pounds, um, I then <laughs> someone keeps calling me. Just I've been sitting here for like two hours just watching YouTube videos. I thought oh, I'll do a live video while I'm doing nothing. Uh, the wife and kids have gone out for a meal with their friend. Um, so yeah, I've um I've spent two thousand four hundred pounds all in total on cryptocurrency. Now, if I'd bought some Bitcoin, the very first day I ever took part in uh, yeah, cryptocurrency, obviously that would have bought me 0. Point, I'm going to say 0. 0.5 um, of a Bitcoin. And I would still have 0. 0.5 of a Bitcoin going forward. So um, really, I suppose I haven't lost nothing that way. But obviously in my ventures doing Hashflare, obviously, like I was saying, all the mining equipment, um, trading, ICOs, Envian, um, obviously I've lost money along the way. So therefore, I also came out today. It would only take so many months before everyone started getting their hands on it, which would really bump the difficulty up. So you really have a couple of months. If you're lucky, if you get in really early, say like, um, obviously I've been watching uh, some YouTubers like Voscoin, um, and uh, uh, crypto mining, and they got in really early, like really, really early. So that period of profitability um, was a lot longer. But then also you got to look at it and say, well, actually, Bitcoin was only worth $5 at that time. So even though they were mining one whole Bitcoin at that time, um, they would obviously only be worth one $5 or something. So I think mining... I think mining is, is, it's not dead, you can still do it, but does it make sense financially? You have to weigh up. Going forward, I honestly feel that Bitcoin is actually going to drop um, in price. Uh, Dave says, keeps buffering every 20 seconds. Sorry, Dave. Um, yeah, I feel that Bitcoin's going to probably stagnate or drop in price uh it may have uh pumps it may go to 7k it may go to seven and a half k and then i think it'll drop back down um i think we're in a downward trend a lot of people are talking about this triangle this wedge 
Um, but eh, people have been saying that now for about two or three weeks. And I actually cashed out of, I cashed out everything um, of Bitcoin. Uh, I actually sold it all. I was quite surprised how quick you can actually get out of cryptocurrency. Uh, it's the first time I've ever done it in the whole year that I've been doing this. I've never, ever received money in my life live with that. Somebody or something's probably using his Wi-Fi. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guy. Um, the only thing that it has made me, though, is very sceptical of anything to do with cryptocurrency. Now, even someone said the other day that on the Equihash algorithm, you can mine a new coin called Pirate Coin. Um, and I just, I did think about it. And then I thought, nah, I <laughs> just... I've honestly, I've lost all faith in anything crypto, um, any coins, any altcoins. Uh, I do believe that there is a place where you can buy, say, I don't know, Ethereum, XRP, all those sort of things. And it may outperform Bitcoin at some point, And then you can cash it in for more Bitcoin. But... Surely at the lower end prices, you were better off to buy Bitcoin. There's very small reasons, very little arguments to be said. This is a good enough reason why you should risk all like your money in EOS, Ethereum, Bitcoin, all of them, you know, VeChain, whatever. Um, there seems to be a lot of risk and probably not enough reward. And... Uh, I know people could say, well, cryptocurrencies could go up a hundredfold, but then they're all pretty much pegged to Bitcoin. So I feel Bitcoin's not as high risk. Um, it stopped rubbing your head working. <laughs> um, yeah, so I feel like uh, it, it is just better. Whatever, whatever way I look at it, whatever um, concept or idea or money-making uh way around of doing it it just always leads back to you should just buy bitcoin and and hodl um and i i know that's an old record now and it's been drummed out so much uh hi pj says what did i miss <laughs> as always um yeah so i just that's how i feel i just feel like going forward i'm just gonna buy bitcoin and i'm just gonna store it um, I don't really care at what prices it is from day to day. If I buy Bitcoin at six and a half, six, eight, eight, nine K, 10 K, I don't feel like it matters too much, really. I just obviously care about the, if it goes up now, you'll kick yourself. Yes, this is Richard. You've hit the nail on the head there because I've been doing crypto now for about a year and Every single month, obviously, pretty much since I got involved in it, mid-November, if you look at mid-November, it was just going up in price. And obviously, we were all under the impression, oh my God, this is going to keep going, it's going to keep going. And then obviously, it crashed down. Um, and then every month, you're like, oh my God, it's going to go back up, it's going to go back up, it's going to go back up, it's going to have a pump, oh no, look, it's going further, it's going down, it's going down, it's going down, it's going down. And now we've stagnated. So, you know, it's, it's really stayed... Uh, sort of around the six, six and a half K uh, for quite a while now. If you look back on the history of the charts, and I know history isn't a indicator of what's going to happen going forward, Bitcoin does have these big spikes in prices, then it consolidates. And generally, and I remember saying this, I remember saying it sort of February, March time, um, that generally it consolidates and it sort of stagnates for about two years. If that's true, then we're only 10 months into it. So we've still got another year of stagnation or maybe even further drops, if that is true. I honestly believe that probably is true, to be honest. I don't think it'll be two years because I think there's a lot of people now, like millions, um, whereas before, obviously, the Bitcoin was only for a small few. Uh, it was seen as this dark underground thing and uh, it was actually seen as like you're taking part. Sorry. Um, so whereas now obviously everyone's got their eye on it and more people are educated. So I do feel 
Like, once it starts rolling again, once we start having a ball... I can't believe it. I'm doing a 10-minute video and I've had about eight calls. Can't believe it. Uh, how much for your big Z9? Uh, the guy who actually went in with me on that, he wants about three grand for it, uh, I believe. He's got it up for it on eBay. Um, actually, the Z9 is pretty much the only uh, saving grace at the moment. Uh, since October the 1st, which... Uh, so... I got it sort of mid-September, and rather than trying to keep track of the exact day I bought it, I actually thought, right, I'll start um, keeping track of it sort of on the 1st to the 31st of every month, so like a full month cycle. So I actually cashed everything out on October the 1st, then we did we we worked out whose is whose uh, pay. And from f October the 1st to today, it's $400 worth of Bitcoin that is it's mined, which... We're only we're about twenty days into the month, I think 24, 24 days. So I've got about another week left. So I reckon that's going to be over five hundred dollars. Um, obviously, the machine costs free and a bit grand to get in the first place. That's you know you're looking at six to eight months of return on investment. But that's that's pretty. I think that's pretty good. Uh, my Z nines are looking more like sort of ten months to a year at the moment. So. I think the Z9's actually performed pretty well. It's very consistent, like very, it doesn't drop a lot. It don't have any errors. Uh, it doesn't really care if the temperatures go up. It doesn't care if the temperatures go down. It's very, very consistent. That's all I can say with a Z9. It is just constant. Every day I wake up and it pretty much mind me the same amount every day. Um, it hasn't really dropped a lot. It hasn't really increased. Obviously, if price of Bitcoin goes up, because I'm using pro hashing, if whatever altcoins it's mining goes up, then obviously it'll accumulate me more Bitcoin. So uh, yeah, Z9, Z9 minis are selling for about 600 to 650 pounds. Uh, yeah, I, I did notice that they are going for about 600 pounds. I sold mine for 725 and the guy actually lived um, not far from me, so a really nice guy. We had a good probably hour chat about cryptocurrency. Um, and he did say, oh, can I buy your other one off you? And I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready to let go of all of it yet. Um, so he only bought one off me. But um, yeah, I think I got a good price for mine. Uh, I even got offered 770 uh, for my other Z9 that's out there, and I, I still didn't let it go for that price, actually. Um because by the time eBay take their 10% and um, PayPal took five, three or 5% out of the transaction straight away, I think I was left with 740. And then obviously I'd have to pay the eBay invoice when that comes through at the end of the month. Um, I bought my two for 1,800 a month ago. Yeah, I know it is, a, that's a bummer. Um, I do think, oh, I wish I just bought Bitcoin. Um, from the beginning. There's 10 people watching, but only one thumbs up. Come on, guys, give that video. I know it's buffering. I'm really sorry. Uh, I've got really good internet, so it must be YouTube's end. Um, hey, what about taxes? Yeah, so obviously you need to take into account that um, that small amount of Bitcoin that I actually cashed in because obviously I sold the equipment used. Um, so as far as I'm aware, I don't have to pay tax on that. But cashing out the Bitcoin... Um, I suppose was a taxable event, which was a couple of hundred pounds. So I'm probably going to have to declare that. I don't know how it works. I need to speak to my accountant because obviously I bought them at whatever price and they've gone down in price. So I don't know if, if I, I don't know how that works. I, I don't, I'm going to have to speak to an accountant, but that'll be in April. Um, the quality is so bad. All right, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. So <laughs> um, my strategy going forward is just to buy Bitcoin, hold on to it. I'm just going to buy it, whatever. When I've got spare money, that is when I will buy Bitcoin. I'm not going to be like, oh, God, I'm going to wait until it goes to this price or that price. I'm just going to buy it and store it um, just as and when I've got spare money. Um, so that's my strategy going forward. I do think we're going to see a, a period of stagnation. And then I believe that Bitcoin will have another bull run probably mid next year. That's my honest opinion. I've got nothing to back that up with. So um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please comment down below what you think is going to happen with Bitcoin, what your thoughts are, uh, when the next bull run is going to be. Um, I'd love to hear all your thoughts because I love getting a good mixture of different um, opinions. 
Uh, Dave Smith says quality's fine. Um, so I don't know what's going on. Sorry, guys. It must, it must be YouTube's end because I'm doing a live video from my phone. Um, that's really it for me, guys. I don't want it to be a super long video. Uh, have a super strong password because the hackers are circulating. Yeah, I know. That's the trouble with uh, being your own bank. You've got to make sure your security is top notch. Um, but yeah, that as of right now, I don't own any cryptocurrency. Um, I have a Antminer Z9 and I have an Antminer, Antminer Z9 Mini. So whatever they mine me between now and the end of the month, uh, that is it. You may say, Glenn, why are you cashing out? Um, I actually, the reason I know exactly to the penny how much I spent is because I use credit cards and I'm sure many of you out there uh, have done the same. And I thought, you know what? Every month I keep thinking, oh, Bitcoin's going to go up. Now I'm starting to think, well, I don't think Bitcoin will go up. I honestly don't. Uh, so therefore, what is the point me holding on to it just yet? Um, just, you know, the only downside is if there is a massive bull run and I miss it. Um, so that that's the doubt, that's the risk I'm taking. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to pay them credit cards off. Uh, the risk I'm taking, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to pay them credit cards off. Um, I paid one thousand three hundred off one straight away, so I owe another nine hundred pound. Another nine hundred pound now, so I'm, obviously I'm going to have to dip into my own pocket once that's cleared off. Now, so I'm, obviously I'm going to have to dip into my own pocket once that's cleared off. Then I'll feel like right, okay, this is a fresh start. Uh, just buy Bitcoin, hold on to it. Hopefully, it's still at the six and a half, seven k mark, and I can just accumulate, start accumulating hundred pound a week, hundred pound a fall, whatever, um, until obviously uh, it does go on another bull run, and then I'll cash out, and then wait for it to dip down, and I'll buy some more again. <laughs> That's my strategy in a nutshell. Um, it's really hard actually for me to keep providing, uh, keep doing more content uh, because. That is pretty much what I'm going to say in every video now. So um, unless people, you want to hear that or you like hearing from me, um, that's really what I'm going to keep saying. And that's the, and I don't mean to knock people down. I know some people are like, oh, what do you think about this? And I sort of want to say like, yes, yeah, a shit coin, don't bother. But then some people get really into it. Like, oh no, I think this is the one. This is, uh, this is the coin to have. And they get really passionate about it. Um, so it's really hard to like put them down, but I suppose that's the best thing I could probably do actually is say, well, actually, um, you know, just buy Bitcoin, <laughs> just buy Bitcoin. Um, streams fine now, Glenn. Oh, that's good, guys. Uh, oh, I've just finished saying what I want to say. Oh, it's getting really dark in here, isn't it? What's going on? <clears throat> um, very long term on Bitcoin. Yeah, I mean, I I actually am really long term on Bitcoin. And um, I don't mean, I don't want this to sound like, oh, Glenn's cashing out. That means he's not interested in Bitcoin anymore. I am actually really interested in Bitcoin and I really do believe that it's going to go up. But it's my honest belief, it's my gut feeling that Bitcoin's going to go down in price. So it actually makes sense for me to actually convert my Bitcoin into fiat money wait for it to dip, and then I can accumulate more Bitcoin that way. Now, I may miss out on that, um, that the new house. No, it's not. This is the house that I'm selling. Um, we need a bigger house. But anyway, that's <laughs> same personal. But um, yeah, we need a bigger house. So I'm trying to get, as you guys may know, when you're applying for mortgages and stuff like that, they start looking at, oh, why have you got this on the credit card? Why have you got that debt? Why have you got this pay monthly thing? Why have you got... So I want to clear off everything I can so that it helps with my affordability uh, check. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, so that's why, that's why I'm cashing out, actually. So um, it's probably a good thing I brought that up. Uh, and that's really it, guys. Um, obviously, I spoke to the lady at the... Um, what was it? <laughs> the last video I'd done was uh, my wife dobbed me in for... What was it? Owning Bitcoin... Um, and they wanted to know how much, and they said if it was over £6,000 worth, I had to inform them, which obviously it isn't. Um, that, that got a lot of views, actually, and my friend actually said, oh, you should just do videos talking about your ex, um, and I said, yeah, talking about my ex and stuff like that seems to be really popular. I know that the majority of you that watch my videos are males, and probably the age between sort of 20 to 40, so... 
at some point you probably have gone through a split up or a divorce with someone and they're trying to find out every little detail of your life. So probably a lot of you can relate to that. So um, if that's something you want me to talk about, I'll gladly sit there and moan all day long. Um, she should pay a visit to Saudi, uh, Saudi consulate. <laughs> no one likes a grass. No, that is true, actually. Makes good sense. Um, can you check this site, bitcliff.io? Uh, probably not. Sorry, Mohammed. Uh, half sow, keep half. Yeah, I I honestly feel, guys, that, I don't know what you guys think. I honestly feel like Bitcoin is going to drop in price. Um, I think everyone's looking at these triangles thinking there's going to be a big breakout. And if everyone's thinking that, then that's making me think, actually, there's probably going to be a breakdown. Um, so I think Bitcoin's probably going to head towards five and a half K. That's in dollars. Um, Russell says five K max. Uh, yeah, I think I think going below that would be uh, sell half your miner. <laughs> how do I how do I sell half a Z nine? Uh, Russell says this round. Yeah, I think Bitcoin. Uh, I mean, that would actually spur me on to buy it more than I probably plan to because if Bitcoin went down to 5k if this is a whiff um five thousand dollars in British pounds that's probably going to be about three and a half thousand now three and a half thousand pounds to me is all of a sudden that's in the realms of okay I could probably sell a few bits, call in some favours, and I could probably buy one whole Bitcoin outright. Oh my God, I would love to do that. Um, at the moment, obviously, I owned, I don't know, 0 point, 0 point 0.1 of a Bitcoin, something like that. So I'm like 10% of the way there. Um, at one point, obviously, I would have owned half. Um if I just bought Bitcoin at the beginning, I would still owe the money I owe on credit cards. So that's not really a product counter. What I want to, what I want to do, guys, is I want to get everything cleared off that I owe. So I've got nothing pay monthly, no credit cards and all that, debt free. Then just start buying Bitcoin, hundred pound here, hundred pound there. So I own it hundred percent. I don't have to ever. I never have to think about cashing it out ever, unless I really felt like, oh, this is good value for money. So Bitcoin went to thirty k. I'd probably cash out at that point. Um, and if it continued to rise, then maybe I'd jump back in. Yeah, I might lose a little bit, but I'd probably take some profits from that. So, yeah, that's where I want to be. That is my strategy going forward. It does irritate me. Um, I go on YouTube and I keep seeing all these videos. Obviously, they're doing clickbait um, thumbnails. Bitcoin's going to the moon and this is five reasons why. And, you know, blah, blah, blah. Though it does irritate me because they might be right. that It may be right one day. But I feel like it, if if you're a very impressionable person and you haven't really got it, an idea of what's going on you're going to read that or even just glance at it and think oh bitcoin's going up better buy some and the more people that buy in and then bitcoin drops in price they go oh fuck i lost money on that it just makes the whole thing laughable like you know there's a lot of people out there that go oh you haven't made any money on that bitcoin oh yeah i'm not doing it then um which i don't think they should be part of it you know that's that's up to them um so it just it just puts more people off. If we had a period of stagnation where it was the same price for a long time, you've got to say, right, okay, well, Bitcoin's worth, you know, the lowest it's gone down to is say six. Um and 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 that's that's the lowest, and now it's at 30k. You would then say, okay, well, I'll probably sell out at that price and wait for it to drop down to 10 or 12, something like that, um, and wait for it to stagnate then and then buy back in. Um and now would be a good time if you'd cashed out at 20k um now would be a good time actually because we have these uh spikes in price going up and then quick drop offs and then back up again unless you're literally swing trading it like spot on every time you're going to lose money out somewhere at that point you may gain some 
but you'll probably get some money out on there because then you start panicking and then the emotion, the fear, all that sort of stuff drives you forward. But actually, if you then wait and then all of a sudden it stagnates and it's like six and a half K, like now would be quite a comfortable time to buy in because even if it does drop to five and a half K, you haven't lost that much. You haven't lost like 80%. You've lost like, you know, 10%. But then obviously you've got to be buying Bitcoin with the intention of, okay, what's this going to be worth in five years? And that's how I'm thinking, five, about five years time, what's this going to be worth? Um, it might take five years for it to get up to these 100k levels that everyone's talking about. Everyone keeps putting pressure on it to like, oh, Bitcoin's going to go to 100k, you know, by 2021. Um, that's all well and good. Let's say it is 21k. Oh, sorry, I'm rambling on now. I probably shouldn't. Let's say that Bitcoin was worth 100k right now. What are you going to do with it? Like, what are you going to do? You're just going to hold it. And that's what everyone's going to do. And then everyone will think, oh, I might as well cash out at this level because I can't do anything else with it. And then it'll drop. <laughs> so it's like, you need to really, you need to be, you need to wait for the adoption. You need to wait for the, the use cases and... I know there are several out there already, but I'm talking like hundreds and thousands. Like when people can just use it as a currency, then it all of a sudden, then the scarcity of it becomes an issue. Um, put a stop loss under your profit. <laughs> yeah, that's sensible advice. Um, let's catch up with your comments quickly. The time traveller confirmed it's true. Uh, it's like a lottery if and when it goes up. Yeah, and that's the thing. No one knows. No one knows. No one knows when it's going to go up. So if you're putting in 10K, like someone messaged me the other day in the Telegram group chat, which if you want to be a part of, the link to it is down below. If you want to be a part of that, someone put in there like, oh, Glenn, I've got 10K and I want to invest in mining equipment. What should I do? And I said, just buy Bitcoin. Like if you've got 10K, you could buy probably two whole Bitcoin at that price. I'd be well happy with that. Um... And then yeah, you're in for the ride, didn't you? You're you've got you, you've got your fucking seat on the train. You know you're strapped in, <laughs> and you and you just wait. You just wait until one day it is worth hundred k, and then you've got two hundred k, didn't you? You start buying mining equipment. The machines become less profitable. Um, the electricity costs go up. Then all of a sudden you're looking at oh, okay, what's the new machine? What's the new machine? And then you sell your other machines at a loss, as we have all discovered recently. And then you think, oh, I should have just bought Bitcoin in the first place. So that is literally where I'm at now. And I'm really sorry. And my channel might become really boring now because everyone's going to message me saying, Glenn, what's this website? What's this coin? What do you think about this miner? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> sorry, guys. Obviously, I'm just trying to vlog what I think and how I feel from day to day. Um, I just want to accumulate more Bitcoin. But I want to do it in a way where I'm not running debt into the my my life and family so i'm gonna get everything paid off and like i said i'm just gonna buy bitcoin as and when i can when i've got spare money if i think oh i would have gone out on the piss tonight i would have spent 80 to 100 pound on booze do you know what i'm gonna buy some bitcoin with that what i was surprised with was how easy it was to cash out i cashed out and my from coinbase into my bank was hour two hours and the money was there and i could withdraw it from cash machine um, so that's awesome. Uh, and I've now got a limit of like 10,000 pounds that I can buy back into. Um, so I can literally just as and when cash in and out from my bank. Uh, and I know they're taxable events, but I'm just saying the, how easy it is. I remember when I first got into Bitcoin, it was so difficult. Like it really, you had to really, even up to a few months ago, I said to my friend, oh, you buy some Bitcoin and send it to me and I'll buy these Z9 minis because we went halves on it. Um, and yeah, it, it one, it charged him a bomb in fees. Two, he could only use a credit card. Then his credit card charged him a transaction fee. Then his credit card thought it was a fraud transaction that one of his credit cards said he couldn't use, buy stuff from Coinbase. So then he used a different credit card and then he sent me the money over, which took a fee. So I think out of like 850, I think I actually received something like 770 or something. So 
that's a lot. <laughs> it's like ten percent in fees. If however, what way you want to work it, um, that's a lot. But now, obviously, I can do it from my bank. Very little fees, quickly, uh, almost instant. Um, so yeah, that's. I think the th that's what we need. That's the sort of things we need for it to become mainstream, um, so that anyone can do it. And eventually, if people can do it without even needing a bank and without needing Coinbase, that's even more fluid. That's, uh, you know, that's living the dream. So hopefully we'll get there one day. Um, but I think it's going to take a little while. I just I honestly feel it's going to take a little while. And I think we're in for a period, six months, year of stagnation. I'm not going to stop doing these YouTube videos. Um, maybe they'll be less frequent. I've got a lot going on, obviously, moving house and um, obviously I'm working still working and everything I, I still want to keep doing videos for you guys it's just i find it really difficult like what do i talk about I, I look at news stories like oh ripple's doing this and i think i don't want to talk about that i, I don't wanna, <laughs> i just wanted to, and then my videos will then become hey guys today bitcoin is worth seven thousand two hundred um let's have a little look uh oh yeah it's gone up three percent buy bitcoin hodl see you tomorrow you know it it, it does become quite difficult actually um but I don't know, if you guys still want to see me talk about other coins or cryptos, uh, I'll do it if, if, there's a, if there's a demand for it. Um, but I'd, f I'd have to always be like, if you were mining in 2011, you're a millionaire now. That is true. But then also you could look at that and say, well, in 2011, how much was Bitcoin? 50 cent? You could have probably, for the equipment you was using, you could probably have bought a million Bitcoin back then. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, guys. I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up before you leave. Click the one Bitcoin a day. Yeah, I would have loved one Bitcoin a day. Fuck me. I'd be sitting on the beach now if, I'd, uh, if I was mining one Bitcoin a day. Um, I'm still doing that lottery thing, uh, the Bitcoin lottery. I haven't really won anything. I win like £1.50 here and there. Um, I don't know if there is a link down below. I'd... I did a video about Bitcoin lottery. Um, I'm taking part in that just in case I do win one whole Bitcoin. Um, I think a ticket is three pound. Um, so yeah, I'm still doing that on the off chance that I actually uh, win something. And obviously you'll be the first to know if I do. <laughs> Gambling's actually tax free in the UK. So if I won that, it'd be, uh, it'd be awesome. So um, that's it really from me guys. I'll probably do a video uh, Sunday. I'll try and do a Sunday night one. And obviously we'll do the live chat and the Discord and everything like that because I feel like I haven't really communicated or talked with you guys for a little while. So uh, join me for that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, click the subscribe button and obviously share with my journey uh, as I go along. Been doing it for a year now. We'll see what the next year holds. Hopefully I'll become a crypto millionaire and hopefully you guys join me on that journey too. So see you later guys, bye.